Hello everybody, today we have beautiful laptop Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 3. We'll take it apart and see what we can upgrade, replace or fix. Let's start. So let's start with the bottom screws. Now find the gap between the case bottom and the palm rest and use a plastic sponger and separate parts. Work your way around the edge to unhook all the clips and now the bottom is out. Here we have the part number. So now let's start with disconnecting the battery. Mm, maybe let's take the screws out first and then we can pull out the connector. So the best way to Disconnect this to lift it from here. Now we have the battery out. Here we have the true part number for it. Now we can take out the SSD drive. So that's our storage. If your laptop doesn't boot and says that there is no operating system or you would like to upgrade your storage, that's how you do it. Take out the drive and replace it. That's the NVMe. SSD drive. Now let's take out that I.O. board. That's our USB port. It's on separate board. So if your port is broken or doesn't work, you can replace this part. Disconnect it from the motherboard. Now we have the port out. Now let's take out the heatsink and fan. So if your cooling is bad or the fan is making grinding noise, replace this part. But be gentle when you are pulling out the heatsink it may be stuck to the actual processor because of the cooling paste, so be gentle when you do that. You don't want to bend it. If you bend it, it won't work anymore. This one's stuck, okay. Disconnect the fan. Now the video cable is rooted here in the antenna, so take it out. And now the heatsink is out. Here we have the part numbers. Now let's disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna wire. Unfortunately, the, the Wi-Fi card is soldered on the motherboard. So if it doesn't, the Wi-Fi doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. Now we can disconnect all the cables to the motherboard, video cable. We will be pulling out the whole motherboard. We'll disconnect the touch button keyboard. Okay, all the cables are out. Now we can disconnect the speaker.
So that is our speaker. If your sound doesn't work or it's bad, replace this part. Here we have the part number. Now take out all the screws for the motherboard. Okay, we missed one screw here. That's our CMOS battery. Let's leave it with the motherboard. Okay, the motherboard is out. Here we have the part numbers. That's our processor. Unfortunately, it's soldered on the motherboard. So if it doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. So now we have our palm rest touchpad keyboard assembly left in the screen. Let's see. We are able to take out the keyboard. So if your keyboard doesn't work, you have to take out all these tiny black screws and then you can replace the keyboard. Same with touchpad. You can take out the touchpad unscrewing these screws and then replace it. Very often the part is sold in one piece, the keyboard touchpad assembly. So you can search for the whole part. The price is probably similar. And you can check for your parts at gatlaptopparts.com. So now let's disconnect hinges. Right, that's our primary keyboard touchpad assembly. And that's our screen. Let's take it out. So let's start with the front bezel. Find the way where you can put the sponger. And then Here the clips are releasing, so that's how you take out the front bezel. On the bottom this, there is adhesive, so gently separate this. You can wiggle the bezel, this way you can disconnect it from the clips. All right, so our front bezel is out. Here we have the part number. Now we will be taking out the LCD. So put your sponger in and then you can take out the screen. That's our video cable. Now we can see the screen model number, the part numbers. And that's our back cover with hinges, webcam and the video cables.
All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.